What is up? We are Wrestling Maniacs out there worldwide. It's the best one, Donnie here, back with a wrestling vlog. You're not a best one yet. You are a We Are Wrestling Maniac. Recommend you to hit that subscribe button now. Turn on the post notifications, of course because videos be dropping on Nowhere Like and RKO, and you already know, the grind is real. The following contest is sponsored by We Are Wrestling. Make sure to subscribe, baby. And Any guy will tell you WrestleMania is always the biggest stage and always the best match. That's WrestleMania 9, me and Sean. Yeah, that was, one, it actually, was, that was one of my favorite as, opening yeah. matches, actually. Yeah. A lot of people I know, I know. underrate WrestleMania 9, yes. but I actually really liked it. Yeah, yeah, we, I, that was my favorite did, WrestleMania. We, we did great, <laughs> and plus it was voted like one... Was it number 57 or 65 for the top 100 oh, yeah, WrestleMania yeah. moments? I really so like cool. that. That's cool. Yeah, we had a great match. Yeah. yeah, we had a great match. Especially Some people just don't like the entire WrestleMania, but me and him, we tore it up. That was, was awesome. Hard. How's it going? What's going on, man? It's nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you. Can you all um, personalize this to uh, Don? Sure. D O N? D O N? Uh, yeah. What do you think? Silver on this? Yeah, silver's good. It's a little darker on here. What would be one of your favorite matches in WWE? If you had to pick one. I really like the, uh, the backlash match. Yeah, this is Gotch. Yeah, it's Gotch. Little Gotch. Little Gotch. Yeah, I think so. Just because it was so different. Yeah. You know I mean, so it was like. I don't know. I have a black. Jeremy, I'm so much with Black Sharpie. Yeah, I was a big fan of the original character in NXT. Yeah, with I the, don't. It was very original. No, no. I liked it a lot. <laughs> Uh, talk show sponsors our shows. Oh, cool, man. Yeah. What's the name of the show? I'm a big show? fan of Blitzkrieg. I've been going since the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I actually about? just seen you over at um, Northeast Wrestling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enzo cut a heel promo and introduced me as Babyface. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. I'll do, <laughs> I'll do um, this one right here. Can you do um, Two Don, D O N? Put it to Don, D O N. Uh -huh. What was one of your favorite matches that you refereed? You know, everybody asks me, but I, I've done so many. <laughs> Alright, Don, there you go. Thank you. Let's take a drop. Okay. Nice a, meeting you. Y'all have a nice day. God yes, bless you. Yes, you too. You said Don? Don, D O N. I'm sorry, Don. That's okay. I'm hoping I get sick. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Who am I pretty? You want this in the game? Here's the question. I got two paint pens, purple and pink. They take a little bit to dry, or I can do it in sharpies that dry pretty I'll quick. I'll do the paint pen. Paint pen? You want to do purple or pink? I'm going to do the purple. Purple it is. And who am I signing it to? Don, D-O-N. D-O-N. What would be one of your favorite matches? Um, probably all the Rikishi matches. Of course... Gold Dust is a lot of fun to work too. I like working with Gold Dust. Elo Brown in SummerSlam '98. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of my favorite matches that you had. Yeah, that was a good one. Big fan of the character as well in the Attitude Era. Yeah, it was a fun character, man. I think today it would get canceled. Oh, easily. Yeah, for sure. Sucks too. All right, let that dry on there. What is up? We are Wrestling Maniacs. I'm here with my dad. We're here meeting wrestlers. This is our first actual convention. 
really cool. Green? Yeah, I got the green right here. And can you all personalize it to Don, D O N? Yeah. He's an awesome picture. Keep telling them that, you know. If you can get there, people want to see your heart. If you can get there, you can get there. I don't think you can. You know what? I'm not going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. You can check. Yo, so many times. Well, you deserve it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Bob, that one, yeah. I've seen you since your house. Yeah, good time. Yeah, put him in the chicken wing. <laughs> put him in the chicken wing. I went down there. How's it going? How are you? Doing good. It's nice to meet you. See you. Do you like your name on this? Oh, not on that. Oh, I'd like to have a pool Thank you. one of these next time. Yeah. Put that dry to I will. And then um this year, can you personalize this one? Sure. To Don D O N. What would be one of your favorite um, rivalries? Oh gosh, not not me. Malty. Iron Sheep is worse. Um, yeah, the Sheep. Speedboat Jay. Yeah. Hulk yeah. Hogan. I guess when the world title was that, yeah. with the wing. You know the story behind that, right? What's the story? Well, when I beat the ultimate cube for the uh, title. Yeah. Was it this one here? Yeah. We had the purple belt. Yeah. So that night, Hogan and I had to take pictures with the purple belt because he didn't bring the black one. Yeah. So the next night, Delphi, they gave me the black one. Oh. And they never asked for this one back, so I still want it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we just got out of the Wrestling Classic. What an event by Captain's Corner there. We're going to be working with them pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. But um, really good first event. Me and, me and the dad, we spent some time, got to meet some wrestlers, and found some really cool memorabilia, which now I will see you guys back at Best One Studios to show you what I got. We are back in the studio. I am going to show you guys what I ended up buying at the Wrestling Classic. Once again, shout out to Captain's Corner for putting on such a great event. This was my first wrestling convention, and I really hope that we get more Wrestling Classics in the near future. But... I'm going to show you guys what I ended up buying because I spent a lot of freaking money. Do I regret it? Nope.
The first thing, of course, I met a lot of superstars at this event. And I got a bunch of 8x10 photos. That's right, when I usually meet a wrestler, I always end up getting an 8x10 personalized. I have two books right now loaded with autographs. And if you want to see a video in the near future of that, smash the like button now and subscribe. But here we go. I'm going to show you guys who I got 8x10s by. Here we go. So we had the headliner of the wrestling classic. We got Sergeant Slaughter, Earl Hender, the native Tatanka for the first time. Tatanka was a really nice guy. My expectations for him weren't as high going into the meet and greet, but he was great. Very nice guy. Talked to him for a while. Then we also met Dangerous Danny Davis. Then we got Tyler Breeze. I was able to meet him from Best Batch Promotions. They always hook us up, so we got to meet Tyler Breeze. Then we also got to meet Fondango, which shout out to our sponsor, Blitzkrieg, for hooking us up with this. Fondango, really cool guy, and I decided to go with the 8x10 of him at WrestleMania 29 in his debut match as the character Fondango. Then I also got to meet Adam Bomb. Then I got to meet Terry Runnels as well. I decided to go with the 8x10 of her as Marlena with Goldust because that's what I know Terry Runnels best for. And maybe eventually I can get Dustin to sign this as well. Of course, one of my favorite guys in the Attitude Era, I finally got to meet Val Venus for the first time. Such a cool dude. Then we got to also meet the Mountie as well, which the Mountie was a really cool guy to meet. Then I also got to meet General Admin as well. Then we met... Stevie Ray from Harlem Heat. Booker T was also at this event, but the reason why I didn't meet Booker is because I met him several times already. We met Ken Resnick. We went with the 8x10 of him interviewing the Macho Man, which I thought was really cool. Very nice guy. But yeah, there were my 8x10s that I got signed at the Wrestling Classic. So the next thing I ended up buying at the Wrestling Classic... I got some art for the studio for our set for the We Are Wrestling talk show. And this guy just had some really cool art and I wanted something different and just add some light to our set. So I decided to go with Jerry the King Lawler giving the fist to the Burger King. I thought that this was hilarious and the, the, the artwork on, on this is amazing. Mankind giving the Manable Claw to... Freddy Cougar, I thought that this was really cool. I love the artwork of Mankind right here, even with like the scars on his arm. That was amazing. So I ended up going with these two. So then the next thing I ended up buying while I was there, I bought my first ever turnbuckle. That's right, we got the Captain's Corner Limited Edition Wrestling Classic Turnbuckle. I believe he only made 20 of these, and we were able to get our hands on it. We were able to get a, we could have gotten a free autograph by Justin Credible on this, but I decided not to get the autograph by Justin Credible. I wanted to just keep this and maybe put it on our We Are Wrestling set just to promote Captain's Corner because they were great during this event and me and the guy from Captain's Corner talked a little bit and we might be doing some business in the near future. Well, the next thing that I ended up getting while I was there were some action figures and in case you guys don't know I am an OG wrestling figure collector. I had totes, I had some figures that weren't even around when I was born to Jack Pacific, to Mattel, I've had it all. Thousands of figures in the totes, and one day I sold almost all of my friggin' figures. Oh, makes me really sad. But we're slowly getting back into wrestling figure collecting. I'm not going to be going crazy like I used to, only going after wrestlers I like. And I actually have some right here as well. 
some loose ones that I took out just for some display and I just want to continue this. I only want to get one figure of each person that I like. So if it's a wrestler I'm not a fan of, I'm not going to get a figure of that person and I'm not going to be really trying to get duplicates unless it's like Undertaker like from Classic to now or like John Cena, one of my favorites growing up. That's like kind of how I'm doing my collection and I'm also keeping my AEW figures inside the boxes as well because AEW figures really got me back into collecting, kind of gave me a reason. But instead of me rambling, let me show you guys what I ended up buying. We have the an Elite Finn Balor, the Demon figure. I went, I decided to go with this one, it was at the Classic, and I really wanted to add a Finn Balor to my collection, now I just have to find a regular one, which there's plenty of them. Then we ended up getting Elite Series 79, Bobby Fish. Next figure I ended up getting for my collection is Paige. Then another figure that we ended up getting while we were there was Daniel Bryan, that's right. I decided to go with the Yes Movement Daniel Bryan. I thought that this is probably one of his best Mattel figures. And now that he is a part of All Elite Wrestling, we're probably not going to be getting any more Mattel Elites from Daniel Bryan. Classic Undertaker from Decades of Domination. I ended up getting one more figure, and that is Samoa Joe with his NXT debut. Those were the figures that I ended up getting while I was there. And the last thing that I ended up buying while I was at this convention. Spent a lot of money on this and I feel like it was well worth it. This one I'm pretty excited to show you guys. We got the Million Dollar Man Brawlin' Buddy. This was in Series 1 when they released these back in 1989. I was able to find this at the Wrestling Classic, and I had to buy this. I thought that this is really cool. It's in incredible shape as well. And when I was younger, I actually used to play with these. I had a few of them from the late 90s, early 2000s. I used to wrestle them all the time on my trampoline when I used to do backyard wrestling. And I decided to go with Million Dollar Man because... He is probably my favorite 80s, early 90s character. And I also just have a lot of cool memorabilia of the Million Dollar Man. I have his Funko Pop signed right there. Let's see. I also have his Million Dollar Championship signed as well. And now I decide to get his buddy here to add to my wrestling collection. That was all the stuff that I ended up buying at the Wrestling Classic. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, something different. And if you guys want more of these in the future, smash that like button now. If you're not a We Are Wrestling Maniac yet and you are into wrestling like I am, hit that subscribe button now, turn on the post notifications. We will not disappoint you. Links down in the description below. Go follow We Are Wrestling over on the new Instagram page for exclusive content. Also, you can go follow my social medias as well and my two other channels, DBTV, where it's nothing but basketball content and Best One Network, where I am most of the time. You can go check both of those channels out. All the links are in the bio below. But to all the We Are Wrestling Maniacs out there worldwide, thank you for watching this video. And you already know, we are taking over.